Just a pilot in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated Weed Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the ZL1 add-ons wicker bill for the 2015 plus charger. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll um, you'll see that I posted a picture of it when I was considering it. So I did decide to go to pull the trigger with that. So got it. Just washed the car. And the daylight just does not last very long. So I'm going to try to hurry up on this. Not too quick because I don't want to screw it up, but let's get going. So to install this, you need a couple things. All my drill bits got messed up in the flood, so bought some new bits at Harbor Freight. And then um, also at Harbor Freight, I bought a rivet tool. Now you can buy one through um, ZL1 add-ons uh, alone. Theirs is like 25 plus $10 shipping, so 35. This one was $21 at Harbor Freight, and I believe it has all the same um, the same connectors that are, that are required. So I think this will work out just fine. Let's hope so at least. So the first thing we're gonna do is tape it real good to make sure we don't scratch anything. Okay, so we do have instructions. Looks like it's just a couple pages, pretty simple. That is what it's gonna look like. It says leave, leave protector, protective film, find dead center. So it wants a 3 8 inch hole. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now um, I just gotta mark my hole. Yeah, doing this with uh, one hand with a camera not the easiest thing ever but so basically it's gonna go something like this obviously that's gonna be all wrapped around I don't have a second person to add it so the big thing to do is to make sure this hole this top hole is lined up exactly with the camera because the camera is right in the middle of the car so once we do that you got to make sure you get your height set like some people want them a little bit higher some people want them a little bit lower uh, I'm gonna have to just kind of play with that and see what works better for me so I'm gonna do that right now I marked the dead center right there. So the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is tape the actual wicker bill up there just to make sure everything's the way I want it to set. Now this is a part that having a partner would definitely uh, help. I'm doing this solo. Okay, so that part is perfect. Now I gotta make sure I got the height exactly where I want it. So what I'm mainly looking for is uniformity. I just wanna make sure it's even all across the bottom. It's got an idea if I put pennies under it, I can make sure they're all the width of the penny. And don't worry, that's not gonna scratch my car. Okay, I'm just gonna secure these down a little bit. Because I want mine to be like low. I don't wanna have a big wing that's sticking out like crazy. So I'm trying to find essentially the lowest part I can get it. The next part is drilling, so that's why this has to be absolutely perfect. I don't wanna drill anything before I verified perfection. Wish me luck, because this is pretty scary. So once you get the center hole, you can just take the whole thing off because all the rest of the holes are gonna be based on the center. I think we are good to go. Let me show you a close up. You can see there's a larger gap right here, but I don't see you can get in there very well, but it, this is flush all the way down there. So this gap is just part of the way the thing's machined. I think, I hope that other piece covers it up. And the rest is just uniform. It's down all the way on the pennies. So it's as low as it'll go with exactly that height. So the only one that really matters right now is this one. 
And that's where we're gonna drill our pilot hole right now. So to start out with, I'm just gonna do a 1 16th pilot hole. So now I'm literally gonna draw, drill a 3 8 inch hole into my spoiler. As you can see, I have a beautiful hole. Well, it's not that beautiful. Could be better, but whatever, it's a hole. And uh, should be able to use the rivet nut tool. Now I've never used the rivet nut thing before. So the first time for everything, right? Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but how hard could it be? So it comes with these little um, rivet things and you screw them in here. There's a bunch of people that have done this on YouTube. So I, I think it screws in all the way, then you crimp it or whatever. Okay, and it seems like that's good. I'm hoping at least. Okay, and apparently I was doing that wrong. So I'm just gonna recrimp it. There we go. Now that's a crimp I can be proud of. I didn't even have this thing on it. I just went for it. No idea what I'm doing, but I think I do now, so good to go. Yeah, uh, pro tip, take your keys out of your pocket when you do this. So from here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tape it all up, and then I'm gonna drill all the pilot holes. With this one being in the center, and hopefully it looks centered, does to me. It should um, make sure everything lines up correctly and I'll just do the pennies again just to make sure we're staying at the correct uh, distance from the trunk itself. Now I just wanted to note, um, there's a penny right here and a corresponding penny on that side. And as you can see, the gap here is different than the gap here. It's a little bit bigger right here. So that's just the result of the cutting. I don't think it's something that's gonna be even remotely noticeable, but uh, just wanted to give some insight that this isn't absolutely perfect. And you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like once it's complete. Of course, it'll have the, the clear section right there. Now, when I drill these holes, I'm gonna make sure I'm pushing the, um, the thing tight just to make sure the hole is gonna not be down or, or inverted or anyway because it doesn't actually it's obvious it doesn't fit straight up and down it fits sideways because of the way the curvature goes so it actually goes in more of a angle and i just want to make sure that i'm staying with that contour Okay, all the holes are drilled, the pilot holes at least. So I'm probably gonna just go with the next step up now. Now I gotta take it off and then put the rivets in each one. But I'm ribbing correctly and I know I'm gonna have to hone out probably every hole so it looks like I didn't drill that one what an idiot
so for whatever dumb reason, wasn't paying attention or something, I didn't drill the big holes in these two. Go figure. And this one's not crimped completely correctly. As you can see, it sticks out a little bit more than those. So this is the one that I attempted crimping without knowing how to use the crimper, which was probably not smart, but I don't think it'll be an issue. If it is, then I'll just replace it. Official unveiling. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is entrepreneurship at its finest. This is just a piece of black plexiglass, ABS, whatever it is. It's probably high quality, but you know, two hundred dollars for just this, which is probably. A couple bucks of material but it's the engineering the design all that good stuff that makes it worth it so this is that other piece and this is just like the uh, center piece that goes right here just to give you a little bit of visibility similar to Z06 style done you can see we're burning a little bit of daylight so I'll show you guys this in the morning before I upload this video but you can kind of see it from here Car's a little bit of a mess so not the most ideal but I think it looks pretty good look at that isn't that a beauty you can see right there it has that clear section it'll that should help with visibility so all right, we'll come back in the morning and um, get some better looks. Okay, we are back. It is the next day. So I didn't really get a chance to um, show this too much last night. So let's see what it looks like in the day. my view with the rear view as you can see that little um make sure you're getting the same angle as me the little glass piece or clear piece actually does help it um it's essentially as low as the stock spoiler is so you don't really lose much visibility because of that i mean you do from the sides a tiny bit but it's not that big of a deal in this car i have blind spot monitoring so i'm not too worried about that aspect but Definitely, um, definitely kills a little bit of your visibility, but I don't think it's enough to worry about whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's fine. So I think that's going to be it for today. Um, you guys tell me what you think of this, this, uh, uh, ZL1 add-ons wicker bill. And I bought it on Amazon for, I think it was like 200 or 190 or something like that. I'll put a link in the description. And this is the, um, bigger one that they sell for the, the charger. So. Anyway, you guys, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Peace. Just a pot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Weed is engaging the pavement. Brother escorts like I'm seeking.